right, hello. Um, so, uh, it's been a few days since I've done my last video, so I thought I'd do a quick update of where I've gotten up to. Um, haven't really done that much, so... Um, which is why I haven't really been inspired to do a video, so I've just been catching up on a few bits and pieces. Where are we at now? So, we're still... Um, still got the engine block there, but I've also been putting together a few other pieces here, um, which are part of the engine, uh, or the engine, um, sort of an associated part. So we've got the, the, one of the struts that, um, mounts the engine into the, into the, uh, the, the housing. Uh, one goes on the other side there. So I've painted those both up with the um, RLM02 paint, which is uh, one of the Vallejo paints. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. And it's that one there. So RLM02. So that's apparently the colour that I was to be painting those. Then I have put together another part of the cockpit, actually some forceps here, one of the side panels um, to which the oxygen system is attached. I don't know if you can see that but that's painted in blue. Um, and a few other parts to the engine, um, some tanks which go on either side of the engine mounting or of the engine itself and then we have this part here which goes at the top of the engine somewhat like that now if there is anyone out there who's building it this one beware that these two parts here the little on the left and the right they sort of point slightly upwards and depending on how you put them on would depend on whether they point upwards or downwards, but they're supposed to point upwards. Now, that part is, uh, let me just refer back to my manual, is the part on the engine, which is known as, yeah, of course, it's the magneto. So part of the ignition system, which sits on the top there, which gets the engine started. Um, so we're sort of doing a bit of the engine mounting and other parts of the cockpit. Now, uh, put that to the side. I've also done a bit of spray painting of the inside of the fuselage. Um, again, RLM2, but, so if you can see, that's kind of the side of, inside of the plane. On the other side, I've also done some airbrushing for the inside um, in the cockpit here, which is the, the XF24. Uh, the Tamiya XF24, which is RLM66, or the Tamiya version of the RLM66 German Grey. So I've done that one on the inside, which is essentially the cockpit colour that we've been doing. And I've just been sort of spraying other bits and pieces as I've gone. Uh, that one's no good. Um, here, the supercharger, so I cracked out the airbrush and did a bit of airbrushing. I'm not so happy with the airbrushing on these parts here. I think I did it on a particularly hot, humid afternoon, and the paint just didn't really sit quite well, so I may give these another going over, but the drying has been kind to them, and they don't look as bad as they did when they were first painted. So, anyway, that's kind of where I'm up to. Nothing that exciting. Um, just a few, assembling a few of the parts, painting them up, and now sanding them down and then once I've gotten these painted up and in position then I'll give a little bit more of a rundown about the different components of the engine um, and uh, what they are and um, what they do okay oh well um, so I'll leave it there uh, like I say not much else so thank you for watching and um, until next time